Hi and welcome to Success Forum. Today I'm talking eight most powerful rules of success. Eight most powerful rules of success. Without wasting time, let's dive into it and see what these rules are. Success rule number one, stop making excuses. If you want to succeed in life, the first thing you need to do is stop making excuses about your failures, stop making excuses about the reason why you do not have money now, stop making excuses about anything in life. Instead of finding excuses, begin to find solutions to those problems. For example, you cannot say you can't. Don't even say you cannot afford it. Instead, begin to think about how you can and how you can afford it. You see, there is a big difference in these statements. When you say, I cannot, you are shutting the potentials of your mind to think about the solution. But when you ask yourself, how can I do it? Or how can I afford it? You are opening up the potentials of your mind to think about the solution. Remember, when you were in grade one, 20 minus 40 was it can't. But when you grow up to grade seven, 20 minus 40 became negative 20. So what you thought is an impossibility in grade one became a possibility in grade seven. So in this world, there are no impossibilities. It is just the level where you are. If you decide to grow above that level, you discover that what you thought was an impossibility has become a possibility in your life. So stop making excuses and begin to think about solutions to your problems. Success rule number two, wake up, wake up, wake up to reality. Some of you are holding on to things that have never worked for your life and probably will never work in your entire life. Wake up to reality and begin to embrace things that work. I love our education system, but I only have two issues with that education system. Number one, our education system has focused so much on training and equipping servants or training and equipping workers, not masters. So when you go through the entire education system and you graduate, it's very rare that you graduate as a master. You may graduate as a worker or as a servant always looking for someone you can work for, for a salary. The second problem I have, most, most, most especially nowadays, in our education system is that the focus has even shifted to preparing students for an exam instead of preparing students for reality. So many times we prepare students just to meet the exam and pass the exam and they come out of the exam room as top flyers. Now, this is evidenced by the fact that most of our top flying graduates, they are so poor at life. They are so poor at making decisions and yet they have been to school. They've got masters, they've got doctorates. I've got nothing against masters and doctorates. You can get all the degrees you want. My point there is life in reality is different from what most people expect so going through the education system and coming up a top flyer you need additional education for example our education system does not teach us much about finances except teaching us on how to do somebody's balance sheets and how to do the income statements for another company but it does not teach us so much on how we can create wealthy and how we can make money by ourselves. So aside the formal education system, you need additional information. For example, you need financial education. So wake up and get financial education and be able to know how you can make the monies that your friends are making. Success rule number three, have clarity. Be specific about what you want in life. If you say, I want money, the question is, how much do you want? Be specific. Life works for those that are clear about their objective. They are specific about what they want from life. You see, just doing things anyhow doesn't work now. And if you are doing something that is not working in your life, be courageous enough to stop it 
and start something that may work in your life. You can't continue doing the same things that have not yielded results for a long period of time. Be clear on what you want. Have clarity in your objectives. Have clarity in your goals. Be certain about what you want from life. Success rule number four, implementation. You see, the biggest difference between the failures and the success people is not the lack of plan. Everybody has a plan. At least everybody thinks about what they want to be in the future, what they want to achieve, the goals and objectives. And sometimes people make uh, plans and they work out activities like that. But you see, the distinguishing factor between the failures and the success people is implementation. Success people are good at executing their plans and they execute their plans very well. Poor people are good at meditating on their plans and doing the replanning. You see, you cannot plan for the rest of your life. There is a time for a plan and there is a time for implementation. A plan without implementation is amounting to nothing. It's totally nothing. It's as good as not planning at all. So it's not a question of do I have a plan for my future or do I have a vision for my future. It's the issue of saying, am I implementing? Am I executing the plan? Be an action-oriented person if you want to succeed. Be an implementer, not only a planner. Success rule number five. It's value addition. You see, people nowadays pay for value. So be a person of value if you want to receive anything from anybody. You see, companies don't fire people that have got value. But companies fire people that are adding no value to their progress. So be a man of value. When you meet people that are higher than you, it means that those people have got more value than you. Ask proper questions. Ask what you can learn from them. Be a learner, be a student, and learn pro from people that have excelled in terms of value. Why is an accountant paid more than a cleaner? It's all about value. An accountant has more value, and probably it's difficult to replace him, but a cleaner has less value. Probably it's even easier to replace a cleaner. So, does your value does your value uh, excel? Are you adding value to what you're doing? Be a man of value. Everything that you're doing had value. Success principle number six, find right mentors. Now, I need to take a little bit of time on this one because it's very crucial. Some of the people have ended up uh, with their lives that are messed up because of the mentors in their lives or what they took as teachers in their lives. You see, the quality of your life depends on the quality of your decisions. The quality of your decisions depends on the quality of information you are exposed to. The quality information of information you have depends on the quality of your teachers and mentors. So if you want to change your life, you need to change your decisions. But for you to change your decisions, you need to change the information you are accessing. For you to change the information you are accessing, you need to change your teachers and mentors. Some teachers and mentors have just brought out the worst out of your life because they give you information that is not helping you, information of poor quality, and that has resulted in you making poor decisions, and so your life follows suit. Change the teachers change your mentors for you to change the decisions you are making in life and that will change your life as well success rule number seven pay the price pay the price to every successful story there is a price that was paid you may be looking at people that have succeeded today and saying wow they succeeded and you may be thinking some of them uh, were, were helped through the process. Of course, I understand there are those who were born in rich families and there are those who have ended up marrying rich people and eventually becoming rich. But 90% of the people you see who are successful, they worked out their way from the bottom to the top. Do not wish it was easy to succeed. Simply pay the price. 
Do not wish there were shortcuts for you to succeed. Pay the price. You see, there are no express elevators nowadays to take you to the top. You have to climb to the top step by step. What I'm saying is, here is keep on moving. Even when things are getting tough, keep on moving. Why? You have to pay the price. There is nothing good that comes without a price paid on it. Your salvation, if you are a Christian, your salvation was paid for by Jesus Christ. Even if you, it seems like you are receiving it for free, but it was never for free. Somebody paid the ultimate price for that. So every success requires a price paid. What is the price that you are paying for your success? If you value your success, you will pay that price. But also remember, as you are paying the price, knowledge, knowledge will help you shorten the route. Knowledge will help you uh, minimize the pain. Because if you approach success with, 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 without knowledge, uh, it means that you have a lot of challenges unnecessarily. So when you have knowledge, you have 50% of the battle already won. Success rule number eight, develop variable skills. Now let me talk to you, some of you, some of you have got skills that are not marketable and you have that skill when no one is hiring you in that skill. Quit that, st that skill. Begin to work on the skills that are on market. Some of the skills you might have. How could you have graduated from your university or college with those skills and you have stayed for eight years and nobody is hiring you and you still insist those are the skills you need to have? Go back to school and change your skills. Adopt skills that are marketable. I, I meet a lot of students uh, and some students choose certain courses simply because those courses are easy. You are not supposed to choose a course because you love it or the course is easy. Choose a course because it's marketable. Some of you need to throw away those certificates that can no longer make you uh, marketable on the marketplace and begin to train yourself into skills that are variable, skills that are needed on the market, skills that are on demand. If you want to search about skills that are on demand, you can Google, uh, you can use the Google and search on the skills that are on the market. And begin to acquaint yourself with those skills develop variable skills skills whereby if you sell that skill it will bring a huge return in your life eight most powerful rules of success or eight most important rules of success please develop these rules and go through the rules and make sure you succeed see you at the top thank you